Hello everyone, Sam so here again with part two of this video. Um, today, um, the end of Wednesday, almost 11.20 p.m. Wednesday, February, February 19th. Okay, so um, the first part was uh, showing the few uh, setups and like pound USD and uh, pound yen among others uh, produced uh, it's a lot of pips, right? More than a thousand. But um, uh, this one uh, right now we are, we, uh, we are in the middle of the week and tomorrow it's obviously a big day. I have a couple of setups already uh, sent out to the subscribers. And, uh, but what happened so far, let me show you that. But before I show you that, this is what um, Elliott Wave is all about. Let me show you what Elliott Waves are. This is um, uh, just a brief, uh, you know, it's like one, two, three, four, five makes uh, five small waves, some waves makes one big wave of a higher degree, it's like bracket in the wave one again, just like this one, this is a uh, part of this one wave, and then uh, this big one, let's say uh, on one hour chart, you have one, two, three, four, five, this is wave one on a four hour chart or a daily chart, then you have wave two, you know, followed by this wave one, and wave two usually is a corrective wave, you'll have uh, three waves actually, it's called ABC, correction, okay, the ABC fashion, sometimes A is here and B sometimes can go above, a little bit above even, you know, the end of wave one, but usually this is very common, uh, you know, it's like ABC comes back down to 50% of wave one or around 61.8%, okay, so far so good. So let's uh, take a look, um, I got three setups to show you that, you know, we're really uh, so far doing good. First uh, was, uh, I think it's the Aussie index. Let's take a look at that. Uh, this one, okay. So what happened exactly, let me show you. This is the one I made the chart on February 17. So I should just show you Elliott Wave, how they, um, you know, supposed to be. One, two, three, four, five. When you see this whole thing, and then you have A and B, then obviously we expect wave C to the downside. And based on that, this is a late chart I made. The first one actually I made, but I lost it when the, this thing was here. Uh, or the USD I'll show it to you. But this is how it is, and let's see what happened so far on this uh, pair. This is what happened. A, B, the C is coming down. This is currently what's happening right now. Okay. Uh, today we had, uh, tonight actually, we had uh, a couple hours ago, we had the news from China, very bad news. <laughs> So, Aussie is connected to the China somehow because um, that export going to China, if the China doing bad, then Aussie in trouble. So, uh, anyway, so now you see that, you know, it was um, this and then nice and clean exactly the way I show. Now, based on that, you can see Aussie um, USD also. Uh, let me show you the first one. This is the first one I made early, very early, September 11. Once I count as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then we need, it, it could be wave 1 or A of a correction. And then we need 2 or B. Who cares? You know, as long as it's coming down. We need the direction. We don't need alphabets or, or numbers, right? <laughs> we need the direction where the heck this thing is going. So this is was the idea and then it came down A and B finished this fashion then C needed to come down and as you can see now this is what's happening currently with all the bad news coming down okay so these are the charts that already sent out to uh, the subscribers and they, they are aware of it and they are uh, armed with my magic wave strategy to make uh, precise entries and it's all uh, you know, part of this <coughs> subscription. Another um, chart that is going on and that is um, this one. Okay, this is pound Aussie. Aussie is the uh, key uh, factor today. <laughs> I mean this week so far. Okay, this is the uh, Aussie pound chart, uh, H4 chart I sent out to uh, on, on February 16th. Sent out on February 16th. Uh, showing this again, uh, I, somehow I forgot to uh, mark the Elliott waves, but 
you can see it's like we have one, two, then all the way down is three, and this is four, and this is five. Okay, so it's just the downside. Aussie, uh, you saw the Aussie upside. This is the downside, opposite. Then we need if it is wave one or A, then we need two or B for the upside. So we had wave A, B, B. You come and now you understand that this is how I teach. This is what I teach in my webinars too. That B usually comes uh, and and find support at the, the last wave four. So this is uh, was you know taking a support here. So I said, okay, it's gonna go from here to finish wave B, maybe around sixty-one percent or maybe sixty-eight, seventy-eight percent, depending on the momentum. But so far, what we have here is this. Okay, so B was here. Then we start you know a little wobbling for the whole day, and today's China news did the job. So far, it says eighty-six twelve, but let me see on the other computer. Right now, currently, we are at, I think we crossed the monthly pivot. That's what I need. Um, please, safety. Okay, we about what well, we are at the pivot. A pivot is, monthly pivot is 86.61. We are at 86.42 after making a high of around 55. So 61.55 almost, you know, we bounce actually. We bounce back down from the monthly period. So now the question is that are we going to break it or not? So it looks like we probably going to break it. I need that to break it. <laughs> okay. So this is, uh, these are the three uh, charts uh, going well. Uh, there are some others, but I don't want to make the video too long. So uh, this is it. Um, if you think that it's, uh, you know, worth it, uh, any good at all, and want to be a part of it, uh, go on my website. You can see a lot more. Uh, it's a lot of valuable information. And all of these before charts and after charts, before charts especially, are only for my subscribers. And uh, <clears throat> you can see um, on my website, when you subscribe, you have a lot of uh, all these videos that I make, uh, mostly uh, before the before chart, and then I send out to my subscribers and uh, teaching uh, videos. They are all only for subscribers under the uh, previous uh, webinar recordings. And uh, there's a lot of valuable information, Elliott Wave, harmonic patterns, support resistance, uh, how to do, you know, all of these things, how to find out uh, turning points. The basic of every single thing we do in FARS, we try to find a turning point and then try to get in early in the in the move. When I was like this one, we were bouncing, get in, you know, now is not the time. Because a lot of people say, well, you know, you're not sending any setups now. So, well, it already started, <laughs> okay. And early in the week, you have four, five, six setups, which, if you pay attention, last week only between pound USD and pound yen, there was almost twelve hundred pips move. So out of that, you can easily take your three, four hundred pips out of it. Two, two setups only. Both were long. Then you have you know different uh, other pairs as well. But anyway, so this is it for now, and. Uh, if you think it's worth it, just just you know, pay, you know, just come on my website and see you know how uh, all the others. Uh, once the you know the trade has been done, I post the charts over there, so we'll see a lot of a lot of them over there, uh, before and after, okay. And you can see how much uh, you can do with those charts. Uh, so <clears throat> thanks for watching. Have a great day. Wish you good luck.